here's that seam sealer. Um, it's a little messy. Actually, you're gonna have a hard time seeing it because of the sun. But I got it all around, up under in this crack really good. So this is permanent now. All across the back. Yeah, it's messy. I wasn't sparing a drop. I was just putting it everywhere. I squeezed it all up under the back edge of this cab up into here, which it's welded all the way across. So that should totally, I'm pretty confident, well, water would get in from here until I get my other floor on. But if I took a hose and ran it in here, I don't think any water will come in the cab, except through there. Oh, I re-ran, this is my fuel pump wire. It did run along here and down into the floor. So what I did was drill a hole through the front and now that wire comes out right there. I just got to splice it back in, solder it back into this for my fuel pump. But that should be 100% waterproof. It's welded all the way across there. I got all that seam sealer all squirted up in there really good. Now I'm going to attach this subframe to the floor back here. And what I've done... I've drilled a hole in the corner, and that's going to be a bolt and a nut. I've got these, they're small, but they're grade 8, So, and I've got a bunch of them. I'm going to put six. I, I tapped through that, my little ledge, which beneath that is the heavy beam. So you can see I've got good threads in there. I've got six of these all the way across the front here. And then the ones in the corner with bolts and nuts. And then I'll also be fastened back here at where the seat belt was. Which this is a strong, heavy, heavy pipe that's not just sheet metal on the floor. How I did this hole was have a small, like, quarter inch hole on the inside and a half inch on the outside. So I can put this Allen bolt through, bolt it on the, catch it from that inside lip. Now, I didn't, I ground this down, I didn't primer any of this, because as an adhesive, I want that stuff to glue it down. So I'm just going to not spare a drop and put as much heavily down through here as I can, squash this in, bolt it, clean up the drip edge mess or whatever's left. And this will be permanently in there in a few minutes. That piece is in. You can see down in there is the Allen bolt. All the way across. This one's got the nuts on the bottom. Because I can get to it through that little hole. How I did that seam sealer. In between on this corrugation, like right there. I had some gap. So I come all the way across with that seam sealer. See the gap right there where the corrugation was? And then right here I ran out. But that's an adhesive. It's all sealed down. I've got it all bolted. I don't think that'll go anywhere. Now on my floor, I have a, I have a piece that'll be... Uh, 19 inches, which will go from here to here, this little edge of sheet metal. And out of that piece of sheet metal, I'll cut my hatch, just cut out a hole. Now that piece will be 68 inches long. It'll come all the way across. i got to cut out for my wheel and, and make this corner flush. And it'll actually come out and fold down one piece from like here up over down the other side and what that'll do that little floor will go from here to here sheet metal and then that raises the whole floor level then I will take one complete full piece and go all the way one piece over that 